Happy fall, Mount Hood territory. It is a beautiful, crisp fall morning, or afternoon, I guess now. So we are joining us at Fur Point Farms. This place is magical. It is probably, I think, a mainstay, a family tradition for so many people. I'm joined by Jessica. She's the owner here, or as you put, you know, kind of like the indentured farm hand <laughs> <Just servant. laughs> She never sleeps. All she does is work. I actually had to pull her off of her register to get out to come do this video, but she's taking a break, hanging out on the tractor here. And I mean, you guys have an awesome place. Fur Point Farms is just so much for so many people. There's just a ton of stuff going on here. Oh, there is. Uh, you know, we have so many activities. And you know, Fur Point's more of a family tradition. And it's not all about, you know, spending all the money. It's about your family coming out together, spending time, doing activities that we do provide for free with no charge if you don't have any money. Free is good. Free is good. We have free parking. We have homemade apple cider. Ooh. I mean, we make sandwiches. We have the huge pumpkin patch. And we're going to check that out in a little bit. Well, you mentioned it. It's like that family tradition, and, and Molly was telling us about that. If everybody say hi to Molly, she's behind the camera, but she's been coming here when she was since she was a kid. Hi, and, Molly. And, and now she's old, so I'm kidding. Molly. She's gonna take care of her. But I mean, this is. I mean, people have been going back. You're like multi generation of people coming here now. So. Exactly. Exactly. And you know. You know, basically, uh, we bought, we purchased this farm five years ago, and we did a 100% renovation, and we designed it to where it's more family friendly. We feel that our customers are more important, and that we want them to have a good experience, and and it's about our kids being safe. You know, I feel that Fur Point Farms is a safe place to come and enjoy yourself and not feel like. You're being pressured to purchase something or to buy something. It's just to be here and be with your family. And one of the things you mentioned are the pumpkins. Obviously, it's yes. fall. It's almost Halloween, so everybody's got to get their pumpkin. You've got a huge selection of them. We do. We do. We have uh, five acres of pumpkins. That's a lot of pumpkins. That we cut fresh ourselves to prove it. There is bud on all of our pumpkins, <laughs> so you know that it is fresh, not, authentic for Boy Farms bud. It's not from the store. And you know what I noticed is the prices are really good too. I mean, those pumpkins are really affordable. Exactly, exactly. And you know, like I said, it's not all about the money. It's about the experience. It's about the customer. It's about taking care of the customer. And knowing that we love them, we want them here as a family. And, and we're here to make them happy. And in addition to the pumpkins, I'm noticing all kinds of other great stuff. I mean, you guys are a farm. Yes. So there's all kinds of great uh, you know, squashes and foods and yes. other stuff. So what are some of the things that people can get here other than pumpkins? Well, actually, I think we have the best deal in town. We have delicata squash. We have sweet beets. We have all different types of gourds. And we're kind of like the dollar store. So I priced <laughs> everything at a dollar. A dollar for delicata squash, a dollar for acorn squash. So I kept it simple and affordable for our customers. And so we have a, a variety of all different types of pumpkins. Um, we have sweet beets, which sweet bean pumpkin is actually a pumpkin pie pumpkin that people oh, don't okay. realize what it's used for. You can use it for decorations. And then after in November, you can make a homemade pumpkin pie for your family. I think one thing that a lot of people know about this, and back in the office everybody was talking about this, is the donuts. Apple cider donuts. Of course! Tell us about the apple cider donuts. Well, let me tell you. Our donuts are made fresh daily. Ooh, that's we, good. We are here at 4 o'clock in the morning. Ah, and I'm sorry. And we make <laughs> dozens and thousands and thousands of these donuts. And we try to, pr we tr we try to produce the donuts fresh daily so you can get them hot off the press mm. and let me tell you and we I have some here opening up that box of donuts and you will not believe what you see would you like to try it? i am going to eat a donut look at that look at that beautiful donut this is one of those times again i wish facebook had this smell jessica are you going to join me in a donut <laughs> I look don't at know. this thing. i'm going to get a, i'm going to get some sugar all over yeah, my face yeah it's going to get stuck in my beard everybody <laughs> office be jealous now cheers I'm done. Mm. Oh my god, that's amazing. Very good. And it is warm. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had a fresh off the rack, warm donut, you are missing out because you know what? 
just keep you keep talking because I'm eating. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and you know, you can't forget about our homemade apple cider. Mm. You know, we get fresh apple cider from Bauman Farms. They are kind enough to make it fresh. We go deliver it once a week. They're awesome people. Uh, they provide homemade apple cider uh, for basically all the farms around the area. And so you can't buy, you can't purchase better cider than that. Are you still eating? It's a busy donut. <laughs> hey. Don't judge. <laughs> One of the really cool things that you showed us earlier was the Hall of Presidents. Yes. Now that is truly unique, and that's something you have to come and see for yourself because that is a really who does that. So there's a local artist out of Lake Oswego that does all the presidential pumpkins, and so we have them done every four years, or depending if, if they're in office for eight years. And it's just a tradition that for Point Farms is always carried on. Um, the only difference is is that I display the pumpkins um, year, year round. So, so Fur Point is open year round. We close three month, three three weeks out of the year. And that, that's your vacation. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's my downtime. Yeah, right? <laughs> hey, I get to relax. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? So, yes, yeah, so it's, it's um, our store is open basically all year round. We close three weeks um, in January. And so, basically, our store consists of, you know, all fresh jams, jellies, produce. Um, we have an incredible bakery that we bake all of our baked goods here fresh. And some amazing donuts. Yes. <laughs> we have the ultimate, famous, butter flake dinner roll that you've never had in your life. We sell, I would say, close to almost a half a million butter plate rolls. Oh my God, that's during, a lot of rolls. During Thanksgiving, and it's a free order form. So we make all of our own zucchini bread, pumpkin bread, banana bread, cranberry orange, our country white, our honey bean. So we do all fresh, um, all fresh ingredients with no preservatives. What about the kids' activities? You mentioned that before. I kind of want to go back to that because, I mean, Kids these days never get outdoors. They're always playing with stuff, but you have a lot of fun activities for the kids to get them out there, get them moving, and have a good time. Well, we do. And you know, one thing about the activities at Fur Point, so again, you know, you come to Fur Point, uh, you're on a tight budget. Everybody understands that. Things are tight for, for certain people. Uh, so we provide a Noah's Ark, which is an ark that the kids can play on with three different slides. We have a what's called the Hazelnut Nut House, which it's gigantic and all the kids can play in there. We have, and these, what I'm mentioning now is all free. We have old fashioned tire swings. We have volleyball, tetherball, badminton, which is all free. We have a nature trail that's free. And then we have our activities. Like we have the cow train. The cow train is a blast. Everybody loves to go on the cow train. We have a hay wagon. We have an art scene. We have bounce houses. We have um, a six acre corn maze. Wow. And then we have a one acre hay, uh, hay maze. It's called the hay maze. Hay maze sounds the, sounds hay little, amazing. For the little guys. It's amazing, though. Yes, that was a light putt. Sorry, <laughs> that wasn't my best. Hey. Well, so you guys got a ton of stuff going on. So, how do people find you? So, actually, you know, personally, you know, Fur Point's been around for forty years. Um, so basically, it's been around so long. A lot of it's just word of mouth. So the clientele that's coming in now is old and new clientele, and it, and it's just all word of mouth. And people come out by somebody telling somebody else, hey, come out to Fur Point, check them out. They're a good deal, they're a good value. Uh, we try to treat each and every of our, each and every customer with respect. And we love them, we love our customers. Where do they find you? How do people get here? So basically, um, you go on the website, go on to Google, and Google has a map. And you can get here very easily by just typing in Fur Point Farms, and it comes up with the Google map and directs you here um, direct, direct to Fur Point Farms. All right, and you can find them online too, and yes. on Facebook, Fur Point Farms yes. on Facebook, yes. online. 
And uh, give us the address one more time so people can find it. So, Four Point Farms is 14601 Art Road in Aurora, Oregon. So we hope to see you out here because <laughs> fall is awesome. Because I is want, the, yeah, go ahead. It's the best time to be out here. And you may just see Jessica hanging out on the tractor. Hey, if I could hang out on the tractor all day long and not do anything else, <laughs> my life would be perfect. Well, yeah. I probably let her, I have to let her go back to the register, yes. but you guys got to check us out. Fur Point Farms, like we said, we're on Art Road in Aurora. It is a beautiful spot, all kinds of great activities. Thousands of pumpkins to choose from. You're gonna like be able to do your entire yard and nothing but pumpkins and jack lanterns from Fur Point Farms. So check us out here. It's a great spot for fall. One of the many great spots we've got for fall activities here in Mount Hood Territory. We hope to see you out here at Fur Point Farms. Join us next week where we're going to be live from. Where are we next week, Molly? Boring Brewing. Boring Brewing, announcing the kickoff of a very cool program we've got coming up. Thanks for joining us at Mount Hood Territory Live. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.